Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're going to watch some skill tonight in another world. Episode 7, it's a new episode that came out. And when I record this, it's maybe one day old, I don't know. When it comes up, but I'm excited to watch it. And last episode was amazing because he got owned by another person. And he did uncurl and he saw his hand, a human hand. That was amazing because I read the manga, he's an elf, but I have not seen his face. I wonder if they're going to show it. So I'm very curious on how they're going to go through this. But it's interesting because I believe his curse gets stronger the more he's uncursing it. So that will be very interesting to see how it goes. So let's see how it turns out. Yeah, let's get go over. Let's just try the tip. <laughs> Uncut. Damn. <laughs> Damn. He was the outcurse. <laughs> Damn. I believe it is uh, that it did get shorter and shorter intervals because it's uncursed. He had to for 5 seconds. Less, maybe 4.9 seconds. 4.8. 4, it's get less and less time. He needs to do it all the time. That's what I believe the curse is. It's because he took, uh, what it's called, a skin. You know, you can buy skins to characters that you make. Maybe buy a different skin. So you can... Your, your main race is uh, what it was. But if you maybe buy an RPG role-playing game you maybe he's a blood elf but you buy a skin to it so that it can look entirely different maybe it's an undead elf stuff like that it's a some bad elf that or a skeleton of an elf stuff like that that's probably what he did so let's see Yeah, don't worry. Damn, I bust it. He was. Ooh. Yeah. I love that he's. They. They are powerful. Elf. Elf. Force is their home turf, so cut through, they can easily. It depends, is there powerful monsters in the area? Is the very powerful monsters in, to assemble in the forest? Is that why they take it around the way, around the forest? Or is it just, uh, it's uh, too much of a hassle, because otherwise I would see them be able to cut down trees and everything in a straight path to the cities. And then maybe have guardrails, stuff like that, to prevent monsters. And maybe flowers and stuff that gives off sweet scent for humans, but bad smell for monsters. They avoid the area. That would be smart. Let's see how it turns out. Because I'm curious, how did they do this? They should do some stuff like that. If they exist, remedies that are flowers that are easy to gather, easy to bloom and stuff. They should have abundance of it. Because it can be very helpful if we can turn away monsters from a populated road. So they may go... If you're saying... They will keep them... Let's see... One kilometer... Away from the main road. Most... At, Monsters and stuff, just that would be simple. Mm. 
Damn, so he's planning to kill his own family? That was the second prince, right? Or the first prince? The one that the... Uh, that black shadow? I can already see who that person is. It's either two people. Uh, I don't know if it was the second prince, as the one that actually supported the slave trade. Because I don't remember if it was the first prince or the second prince that did it. I don't remember, okay? I'm sorry. I need to rewatch that episode. But I know it was so. It was the blonde one. At least. With spiky hair. I also remember if it was the second prince or the first prince. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Then we have something else that is awesome. I don't know if he's planning to kill her or if, she, if he is going to uh, kidnap her, make some men rape her so she loses her. Because this is a very. They have done warnings for the four or five last episode. Aggressive viewer be aggressive. This, uh, this is enough for the weak viewer. I like that. I wonder how they're going to go with it. That's interesting. Let's see. Damn. I wonder they look. Damn. Damn, we killed it one strike. Damn. Damn! Damn, this is interesting! Damn, they got one! Damn, he doesn't care that they're fighting! Damn, a feist? Damn! Damn. If you guys remember, in episode 2 or 3, I think, it was one of those in the early episode. We had a band on the Basilix. Oh my god. It's going full circle. I wonder what's going on because it seems like it's the nobles that have something going on here that supports uh, the blonde prince. I wonder what's going to happen because this is very interesting. Can... Is that why he he wants to sacrifice some soldiers to kill the maybe the princess so that the dad will actually go weaker? Because so I'm curious on how everything's going to go here because they need to really think this through. So let's see how it turns. We had a fire! Yeah, it was controlled! Yeah, that is actually a bad sign. That shows someone is control trying to control monsters behind the scenes, and that's not good because that can be a very dangerous thing to happen. Imagine this: if someone controlled, no, figure it's so controlling dogs or animals, any kind of animal here in this world. Let's say they control. Poisonous spiders, snakes, stuff like that. With their mind or... Yeah, with their mind. They don't need to do any commands, stuff like that, to actually create it. Just their mind. That would be very, very dangerous because they can be very good at killing people then. Because 
it's better with crocodiles, stuff like that, alligators, I think can go very, get very big as well. Tigers, lions, elephants, boars, any animals that can actually kill a person, they will be very terrible. Because if they get people get control of those animals, oh my god, you're dead. Everyone is dead. So that's why I think it's going on here. They have something, a very powerful spell on that, or a curse, or mind control spell, stuff like that. A slave collar, stuff like that, that to put on the leg, neck, anything. So let's see. Because that's what I believe. That's a slave collar or something. It's for monsters. Damn. <laughs> Let's bleed him on the double. Mm. Yeah, he's the one. He's the one I wa wanted. Yeah. Dark Chris. Yeah, the blonde one. That has the infinite Luxus appearance. That he looks very much older though, but still. He's the one that he's probably the first prince, I believe. He's the first one. So I wonder how Evan's got to go. This is amazing. This I love it because it's so interesting how Evan's got to probably fall to place. So let's see. Damn. No problem. Pate is so cute. Damn. Damn. No prisoner cell. Is that the big brother? Damn, that's... They know that they killed a princess of the country they live in, right? That's not good for them. That's not good for them, because if this gets public, the king will be furious, and he will find every single one of them. And if he finds they are civilians in his main capital day he will turn them over don't underestimate a king's brutality when one of his 
most precious daughters and sons get killed, they will have revenge. They will turn up an entire kingdom upside down if they need to. They will destroy everything they the kingdom was built for. Because of revenge. They won't listen to the children or anything. They will I will find one that did it, and if I find one of you did it, you guys will be executed on spot. That is something that's probably going to happen. So <laughs> oh, he's breaking his arm! There! Oh, he's a loyal friend! He stayed him! Damn! Teamwork! Teamwork! He stayed with Wolves and they helped him! Wolf is more intelligent than you think! As long as you show that you're a, a big, big enough, you, they won't go for attack. The only kind of thing wolves attack is when they feel threatened or they think they can overpower you. Because when they're a big group. But I would also believe they are pack animals. If they're injured and stuff like that, and you help them heal and stuff, and it's a pack leader, and it's healthy again, and can return to its pack, I mean, it won't harm you, because it has the same, some kind of to a dog, in a certain sense, because dogs are from wolves, lineage, they are more aggressive and stuff, but, I mean, they are very loyal to their pack, so if they see you as a, their, one of their own, they will not harm you. It's the same with lion stuff. We have seen, I've seen on YouTube and stuff that a guy with reunite with his uh, lioness as a lion. Uh, they are giraffe, dogs, wolves, panther. Uh, what is more? All these big animals that can kill a person. Tigers. After they separate from it five years, they run, they hug them, they. They are putting their paws around them and just putting the, the shoulder on them, uh, the head into this head and just put. You know, like a dog when you're. They're like dogs and cats. They're putting the heads on, in your hand and just putting like this, but. Mm, they want to snuggle with you. Mm. There. Oh, he's in good time. It's all awesome. here. Can an angel? <laughs> Damn, that was a compliment. Damn, that was a beautiful compliment from him, from the princess to him. Is that an angel? Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Is that an angel? I love it. I really hope that something good is happening right now. <laughs> that because we had the maids asking princess, princess. I really wondering what's going to happen. But this is good. I really hope everything's going to be how it should be now. The princess is going to get the contact of every single one that was involved, and they can just plumb them. Because she's a princess, she should have some politic power. And she can say, t tell her father, I found the contract to every buyer in the capital and the country. We can arrest them and destroy them immediately. That is something I would say to the king and do immediately. So then they don't lose their trust of the elves. As much as they already done. So let's see how it turns out. Yeah. Oh, 
A miracle to... Oh, let's hear her speech now! There. Ah, let's go! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there. That is... You should have told her that you found the princess. Damn, Royal Captain Olaf. Olaf. I don't know where I got Olaf from. From Skyrim, probably. Damn, she's good. Damn. He found the ninja again! That's a good dress, though! I like the dress! How she dresses! She dresses like a delinquent that you see in the movies and stuff. I think the... When they are a delinquent uh, in school settings. Having a top there, nothing here, no she shirt, a jacket on. And big pants. She's dressing like a delinquent in my eyes. <laughs> it's so funny. I love it. It's amazing. I love it. It's very good. I hope everything goes as planned because this feels a very fun episode. This was a very fun episode to watch. Because I feel like I had a lot of talking in this episode as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and don't forget to subscribe, like the video down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed because I had a lot of talk about it with this episode. And have a nice day everyone and don't try and forget to like the video and to subscribe. And have a nice day everyone. Bye.